Hello, welcome to the digital content of the course of Introducing Communication Theory. At this meeting, I will present the material from the fifth season titled Interaction Symbolic Theory. Before introducing the Symbolic Interaction Theory, I will first explain why the theory, which is rooted in the tradition of sociology, is used as a basis for the theory of communication studies so that you become understand about the main basis for the formation of communication as a science. It is well known that communication is science that try to seek to explain the process of interaction between people, wherein the interaction is contained what we are familiar with the concept of message. Message is what distinguishes mere interaction events with communication events. Or in another words, an event can be referred to as a communication if it contains two basic conditions, namely the first interaction and the second is message. This is a bridge of ideas between one human and another in the form of a message codes or a series of symbols arranged in such a way that is meaningful to others. For this reason, for these reasons, communication is a series of interaction events accompanied by the emergence of a series of symbols with certain meaning that are understood by one individual with another one. Therefore, now we come to, we come to understand that symbolic interaction can be understood and simplified as a concept that that we are then familiar with the term of communication and this is why symbolic interaction theory is the basis for development of theories in communication well in symbolic interaction theory there are three main terms that must be known namely meaning self-concept and individual relational with communities the first is meaning it must be understood that the goal of interaction is to create shared meaning. Every individual constructs meaning through the communication process. Because meaning is not intrinsic to anything, without shared meaning, communication is extremely difficult. It takes interpretive construction among people to make meaning. And finally, the meanings we assign to symbols are a product of social interaction and represent our agreement to apply certain meaning to specific symbols. The second is self-concept. Self-concept is the relatively stable set of perception that people hold about themselves. Individual with active self grounded in social interaction with others. Individual develops self-concept through interaction with others. It is only through contact with others that we could develop a sense of self. Through self-concept, a person will also understand about his or her role in the community, or even if it is just a role in a process of interaction between friends. The third is relationships between individual and the society. People and groups are influenced by cultural and social process. Social norms constrain individual behavior, and culture strongly influence the behaviors and attitude that we value in our self-concept. These three central themes, in fact, cannot be separated into separate themes. The three of them stand together and form one another. Okay, based on the three central themes about, we can conclu uh, conclude it that in symbolic interaction theory, there are three key concepts that are used in the focus of analysis of the, this theory, namely mind, self, and society. First is mind. Mind is the ability to use symbols with common social meanings. The embodiment of mind can be seen through language, which is a shared system of verbal 
and non-verbal symbols, which is generally agreed upon by many people through the conversation. In mind, we are able to do role taking, which is the ability to put oneself in another place. Second is self. Self is imagining how we look to another person. Um, self logic can be analogous like when we are looking glass self, which is our ability to see ourselves as another see us. In this context, people have the ability to be both subject and ob uh, and the object to themselves. As subject, we act as I, and as object, we observe ourselves acting as me. I is the spontaneous, impulsive, and creative self, while me is the reflective, socially aware self. The third is society. Society is the web of social relationship that human create and, re and respond to. In the context of society, one can play the role of particular others. There is individual who are significant to us, or also generalized other. That is the attitude of the whole community. Well, after this explanation, you can see that the symbolic interaction theory is a description of how a person must determine his role in society. That is when someone is interacting with others. This interaction is certainly not an empty activity. It is a condition with meaning. There is apparent from the exchange of symbols between people or what we later recognize as the concept of message in communication science. Therefore, symbolic interaction theory is the most fundamental part the most, the must, that must be understood by every communication science scholar so that I have explained about this symbolic interaction theory and I hope this can be a knowledge for those of you who have just started to study communication. Thank you for your attention and see you at the next digital conference.